Forestry is about a lot more than just growing and cutting down trees. It's about managing native forests for the conservation estate. It's about growing trees to take carbon out of the atmosphere and help deal with climate change. It's about providing habitat for a wide range of different species, and it's about providing a sustainable source of materials for the construction industry. To do so requires an educational foundation built on an understanding of forest biology, ecology, economics, and operations. So the School of Forestry offers both forestry science and forest engineering degrees. And while forestry science focuses more on growing and managing trees, forest engineering focuses more on the operations like harvesting and road building. But it's important to point out that both degrees have a strong environmental focus. So we don't really believe that you can learn all about forestry in the classroom. One of the really exciting bits about the degrees are that you spend a lot of time learning in forests around Canterbury and the rest of the country. So the type of student that tends to study forestry is somebody who's interested in the environment and sustainably managing our forest resources. They tend to be interested in biological sciences, uh, as well as have strong numeracy skills to apply to problem solving at the landscape scale. Because of the nature of the degree, many of our students are quite outdoorsy. They will often spend their weekends exploring the wider Canterbury or South Island areas. We're a well-established school, having been around since 1970. The Bachelor of Forestry Science is the only undergraduate professional degree in all of New Zealand whereas the forest engineering degree is unique to Australia and New Zealand. We've got small class sizes, which means we're a really close-knit community. Staff and students get to know one another really well. Our graduates are highly capable at managing the whole life cycle of forests, from finding and acquiring land suitable to forests, to selecting species and genetics that will thrive on a site, from planting and tending those trees to monitoring their growth, and finally harvesting, which includes minimizing environmental disturbances. So forestry's changed a lot in the last decade or so. We're relying more and more on things like remote sensing to measure and monitor our forests. Using UAVs or drones with LiDAR sensors or satellite imagery allows us to monitor the vast areas of New Zealand's forests. We're now using high-tech machinery and robotics in order to safely undertake forest operations while at the same time minimizing the impact on the environment. We're using our knowledge of forest genetics to breed tree species with characteristics like fast growth, environmental tolerance, or desirable wood properties. So it's important to have forests because forests are amongst the most biodiverse ecosystems on Earth.